we finally know how in hell NASA is gonna get us to Mars. They have released a 36 pages document outlining how are we gonna get to the red planet. Are you excited? I am, and how the hell are we gonna do it? It's very, very exciting. They are saying we need to take this in increments. There's mm -hmm. three phases, the Earth Reliant Exploration, the Proving Ground, and the Earth Independent Activities. These are increments of technology and research that we'll be doing that build upon itself. First, Earth Reliant Exploration, and it's something that we're already doing, is all the research that we've been doing here on Earth, like mm -hmm. the um, isolation missions that we reported on in Hawaii, right. but also the work that is being done at the International Space Station, all what is pertaining to human health research and how yeah. the human body reacts to extended stays at space. Now, after getting all that research, we move forward into deep space proving ground phase. This is crazy. This is when we start sending long-term missions mm -hmm. into cislunar space. You know, we're around uh, the moon, we are deep into space, but close enough that these manned missions can come back to the Earth in a matter of days. Once we have mastered that phase, we go into Earth Independent Activities. That just the name in itself is pretty interesting. Earth Independent Activities is once we get to the near low orbit of Mars, mm -hmm. when we try to land into the, the moons of Mars, and eventually before 2030, in the surface of Mars. Before 2030? Yes, that's, that's so what they're soon. saying. Yeah. That is so soon, and that is so cool. I hope they're not sending Matt Damon up there. He's clearly... No, I'm just joking. Experience. But, no, this is freaking awesome, and it's happening so so much sooner than I think anyone had thought. I mean, it didn't seem like a realistic option for there to be a permanent colony on Mars that soon. And that's the goal. People like Elon Musk have said, we have to send a million people to Mars in order to make sure that humans are going to survive into the future. I think it's pretty crazy, but I think that intersection in between NASA and private investors has been the driving force for this advancement and acceleration in our goal of you know, setting up a colony in Mars. Now, we will see that everything in this document is a really good read. Everything in this document is based on technology already existing and mm -hmm. budgets that are adjusted to the real growth of economy. So everything in this document is grounded on something that is possible. And I right. think it's very, very important because before, everything was kind of research, everything was exploration, everything was projections and speculation. Right. Now we have something that is written in stone right. and is based on, on things that are factual. Right. It, it's exciting to see the blueprints, right? Yes. To see the groundwork, to see it, uh, a plan that's concrete. But at the same time, there's still so many obstacles that we have to talk about. I mean, these astronauts being in zero gravity in their, in their uh, space shuttle for how many months at a time, how many years, wh however long it's going to take to get there, A. B, the radiation, too. Yes. I mean, that's a huge deal. I'll get excited when we start... I'm looking for the long term, I'm looking in the future. I'm gonna get really excited when we start talking about terraforming and changing the actual atmosphere of Mars. That is crazy. That's, that's gonna be nice. And that's still something, you know, that people are are starting to talk about. So it's also gonna hopefully be a you know a, a option pretty soon. Yeah, and I think you, you highlight two of the main obstacles for the colonization of Mars. First, the temperature. Mars is around minus 80 Fahrenheit degrees. Not bad. Not too not too far out if you think that there are parts of the earth that are spring that, break, you know are under 20 Fahrenheit degrees. So the, the difference is not that much is possible to think that eventually with technology or with man-made machines, we can raise the temperature to enough for us to be able to live there. Also, the atmosphere of Mars is about 100 times thinner than the Earth. So the amount of radiation that we'll receive f for the fair colony members will be really, really high. So these are the obstacles that we have to see. Also. We heard before that we have to send probes that actually look into the inside of the air, of the core on the crust of, right. of Mars to see what really is going on because right now everything is in the surface. So there's a lot of research, but now if you're interested, you can download a PDF, 36 pages that outlines all the mission in our journey to Mars. I think you should do it right now. But before, let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.